Percy puffed grumpily into the yard. He was feeling put upon and said so. I feel put upon, he complained to Thomas. Thomas was confused. Put upon what? The rails? No, put upon with too much work. Driver says he is too. Put upon? What a silly saying, replied Thomas. But Annie and Clarabel liked it, and when Thomas took them away, they sang about it. Percy's been put upon, put upon, put upon. Percy's been put upon, poor old Percy. Tee hee 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 hee. Percy is being put upon. I am, I am, I am. He collected metal from the foundry, coal from the yards, flour from the mills, rock from the quarries, and fuel from the depot. Then he delivered it all to the docks. Next, he collected some empty trucks. Who's this dirty little engine? cried the trucks. We want Thomas or Duck. Percy ignored them. Put upon, put upon, that's what I am. That night, all the engines laughed at him. We can see what's been put upon you, said Thomas. Silence! Percy, you've done a good day's work. Now get a good night's rest, said the fat controller. Yes, sir, thank you, sir. Next morning, he took some trucks to the coal yards. Then he had to push empty trucks to the mine shaft. When he arrived, there was trouble. The foreman spoke to his driver. The trucks are stuck on the mechanism. All they need is a good shove. We'll do it right away. Percy shunted back to where a large canvas barrier was used to protect his line from loose rocks. Percy charged at the line of trucks, too fast and too hard. Oh no! gasped Percy. The trucks broke free, but ran out of control to the mines below. On, on, faster, faster, the silly trucks yelled. Then there was trouble again. Get out of here fast! The mine's collapsing! We'll just have to make a run for it, Percy, called his driver. There's going to be an avalanche, wailed Percy. And he was right. Worse still, the track he was on began to crumble. Then, he remembered something he had seen earlier. There's a canvas barrier by the track! That might save us! They were just in time. Percy was right. The canvas did indeed save them, but the miners didn't know that. The avalanche has buried an engine and its crew. We must help them immediately. When Percy had been rescued, the fat controller spoke to his driver and fireman, then to Percy. Driver told me how brave you were, Percy, and I'm very proud of you. As a reward, you will be repainted at the works. Oh, thank you, sir. When he returned, Percy's green coat glistened in the sun. I'm sorry we teased you, Percy, said Thomas. You were certainly put upon by that avalanche. Yes, indeed, but just look at my new coat of paint. Now, I don't mind that being put upon me. <laughs>